Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Mehmet from Dr. He Clinic. Today, I would like to talk about gastric balloon types and history. If you are ready, let's start. So let's start with the, what's gastric balloon. Gastric balloon is a medical device made of silicone. Actually, balloon's history is very old, but due to side effects, it wasn't used so much. With the technological improvement last 20 years, it's very common and we apply it very safely. Let's talk about its types. Mainly, there are four types of gastric balloons. One and is the oldest one is Orbera. It, we have experience with the 300,000, over 300,000 experiences with the Orbera. And the second one is unique one, adjustable one, Shpas 3. Third one, there are lots of uh, brands, six months. And the, the latest one is Allurion Ellipse Swallowable Balloon. And let's talk about what's the indications of gastric balloon. Can we apply it all patients? No, we cannot. It should be uh, over 27 BMIs and weight loss failure with the diet and exercise. We have two different methods. Uh, most of balloons uh, applied with the endoscopy. This is our stomach and this is esophagus. We start with the endoscopy and we check the stomach inside. And after being okay, we put the balloon and make it big up to stomach size. But the other balloon, Allurion ellipse, swallow balloon, we don't do endoscopy or anesthesia. The patient swallow with the water. And when after being sure with the X-ray that the correct position, and we make it 550 milliliters, 550. But it starts from 350. With the Allurion balloon, this is the only 550, but other balloons, we see it, we give the decisions during procedure. Who are the good candidates for gastric balloon? First of all, it's very different from surgery. You shouldn't compare to surgery. It's very different methods. I will explain the disadvantages further, but Candidates who should be, the patient should think about diet first and balloon will help with the diet. So first one for dietary support. Second one, patient is suitable for surgery. It's over 35 BMI, but afraid of surgery or who doesn't want to have surgery. And this is a good candidates also. The third one, patient wants to have surgery, but we don't want to do the surgery because of high risk or unsuitable medical results like blood thinners usage or sleep apnea disorders or heart disorders. So first with the low risk method, we want to lose some, for example, 40 kg, 30 kg from 200 kg to the 150 or 160, then make it suitable for surgery. And the second step is surgery. And this is the third one. And who wants to 10% or 15% weight loss or who wants the good start? Compared to surgery, of course, we have some advantages. So this is non-surgical. We don't remove any part of your surgery. There is no stitch. This is reversible. So when we remove the balloon, that's the simple uh, as passed. There is less complication rate compared to surgery. So there is no bleeding risk. There is no leak or thromboembolism or infection. These are high advantages with the balloon. Disadvantage compared to surgery, there is high side effects. What side effects? Cramps, pain, nausea. It's very common first week. Less effectivity. We don't expect how much kilogram, how many kilograms we will lose compared to surgery. After surgery, we can say that we will lose 10% in first month, 20% in three months, and 30% in six months. But with balloon procedure, we cannot tell this kind of things. And weight regain. When the balloon removed, so it's possible to have regain if the patients don't follow the diet rules. What are results with intragastic balloons? Our rates is approximately 15% in six months. We see that weight loss occurs in three months and not 100%, but most of our patients suffer from side effects first two days, but maximum seven days, 10 days. And we don't have any complication 
So balloons, if you use the balloon properly and technically and the right technique, there is no complication. But to sum up, it's very low complication rate. Second part of our video is frequently asked questions. The first question is, what's inside the balloon? After the placement of balloon, we fill it with the sterilisaline injection. The second question is, if it leaks or explodes. We don't see this much, but if you don't use your stomach protection pills and if you don't follow your diet rules, of course it's possible. And the maximum time is very important. If it is six month balloon, you should come in six months. If it's one year, maximum time limit is one year. So what happens if leaks? So this is a blue, methylene blue that we put inside. You will see the blue color in your urine and you have one day to remove it with endoscopically or it goes by, by the digestive system. Third question is, how you feel it? You will feel it first day with discomfort, pain, cramps, but day by day, our body will adjust it, but sometimes you will not feel it. So it changes patient to patient. Next question is, if I want to remove it early. First week might be horrible, but this is temporary period. So some of patients want to remove it early because they think that it will last like six months or one year. No, it is not. It is just for a time. So one day, two days or maximum 10 days. Of course, this is your decision. We can remove it early, but our recommendation is not that way. You should be patient and it will be normal. The other question is if the patients have allergy. Because of the high quality of balloon types, so we don't see any allergies. These are tissue friendly medical devices and two of these is FDA approved. The other question is, can I have another balloon after six months or one year? Yes, you can have another balloon, but if you success with the balloon, for example, if you lose 10% or 15% already, but you have 10 more or 15 more, yeah, we can put the second balloon. But if you fail, so we don't recommend it. Do all patients have balloon or who can't have balloon? We have some contraindications. Not all of them have balloons. If you had already intragastric or gastric surgeries, you cannot have balloons. Or if you have problems with your stomach, like ulcers or bleeding points or huge hiatus hernias, you cannot have balloon. I try to explain and give you some information about intragastric balloon and types. Thanks for watching.